Now, the developer, Persimmon, has announced an independent review into its housing quality after increasing concerns about the standard of its new builds. But the property advice group, the Homeowners Alliance, has told the BBC that issues with new homes aren't limited to just the one developer. Here's our consumer affairs correspondent, Coletta Smith. This was supposed to be Justin's dream home. He'd saved up for a new build. Good morning. We've got zero insulation. Thinking he wouldn't need to do any work to it. We've moved out twice. Um, every ceiling in the entire property has been removed. So this is, um... Justin bought his house from one of the biggest developers, Taylor Wimpy, under the Help to Buy scheme. It's well below, below standard, and trying to negotiate with the builders has been an endless trauma from day one. Insulation issues, damp issues, cold bridging issues. A couple of doors up, Lynn lives in an identical home with her partner and three daughters. This is not isolated to this particular property or this estate. It's got to be national. The developer Taylor Wimpy say they sincerely apologise to Justin and Lynn and have taken actions to put things right. More generally, they say, we work hard to resolve any issues as soon as possible. The improvement of customer service and build quality will continue to be a key priority. At this solicitor's, Timothy takes new calls nearly every day from people battling against a host of different developers right across the country. He thinks the problems with new builds are down to lack of skills in the workforce. People are making mistakes potentially because they don't realise the significance of what they are doing due to a lack of training a lack of experience and a lack of supervision overall. Developers are under pressure to build lots of homes and quickly. On top of that, every building company I've spoken to in recent years have told me that it's a nightmare trying to get hold of enough staff with the right level of skill. What new build home owners are now living with is the consequences of that. Taylor Wimpy say last year they increased the number of workers they hire directly by nearly 30%. The government say they're trying to tackle the issue by creating a new homes ombudsman and spending more on new construction training hubs. But there are now calls for a new law to let owners hang on to some of their final payments for a couple of years. Coletta Smith, BBC News in Norwich. Well, I'm joined now via webcam by Benjamin Derbyshire, president of the Royal Institute of British Architects, and he's currently on a RIBA mission to China. Um, thank you for joining us here on BBC News. First off, are you surprised at the level of complaints and this measure, this step uh, that Persimmon is now having to take? Uh, not particularly, no. We've been uh, uh, saying for some time that there are systemic issues which give rise to these kinds of problems. Why? Where do these issues and how have these issues arisen? Well, they're partly to do, as I've been hearing on your feed so far, uh, with the lack of uh, skilled resources available. Um, incidentally, uh, a problem that's going to get worse, uh, very much worse, if we uh, have a bad deal for Brexit or worse, no deal for Brexit. So is a home ombudsman then the right way to go? Well, I was on the uh, all-party parliamentary group which recommended to government that we should have a housing ombudsman uh, and moreover that the proliferation of ombudspersons uh, should be accessible to consumers uh, by means of a single portal so that there's less confusion and dismay for people who are struggling with difficulties of this kind. Do you think that's the only way that this problem can be fixed? Is there something else that we as consumers are missing? Well, feedback. And uh, I think that uh, the house building industry is uh, far behind most others uh, in providing consumers with uh, a readily accessible means of assessing uh, the quality of the project and judging on the performance of uh, home builders uh, according to consumers' views. So um, uh, in America, for example, there's a private company called JD Power, which uh, delivers that service to customers. It's a bit like iEscape, you know, you can you can dial up and find out how uh, uh, the house builders are getting on. Um, uh, do you think, uh, certainly in the case of Persimmon, it's a case of you get what you pay for? Well, there is uh, another systemic issue here, which is that um, there is rampant uh, um, uh, exploitation of the value of land, uh, and uh, home builders are locked into a, 
a kind of feeding frenzy uh, by means of which uh, a, a speculation leaves very little uh, value left uh, to plough into uh, quality of the built product. So uh, we need to do something about that. And uh, I was very pleased to see Sir Oliver Letwin's report on this issue uh, suggest that there should be some way of limiting land value speculation. Um, coming from, obviously, an architectural background, an organisation such as the RIBA, um, what else would architects like to see happen? Are you involved enough in the process and, for example, the signing off process as well of new builds? Well, we're not involved much at all. Uh, we often get the blame, but, um, uh, you know, I'm not here to... Uh, 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 suggest that uh, architects are the solution particularly, uh, but since you ask, uh, less than one in ten homes, new homes built, um, have an architect uh, involved at all. Um, I do think there are a variety of other uh, responses to this issue um, which would involve a, a much improved um, supervision um, and new methods of manufacture. So um, there is uh, an increasing interest and capacity uh, for making homes in factories. Uh, rather than, uh, you know, in muddy and wet conditions on sites uh, where unskilled labour um, struggled with, in with the increasing technical complexity uh, of building a new home to high standards. Um, and and fi finally, um, Benjamin, what would your message be to the Housing Minister? Well, actually, the Housing Minister is already, we know, deeply concerned. He has a commission, Building Better, Building Beautifully, uh, which is due to report to him uh, presently. Uh, my message would be uh, we need to provide uh, adequate resources um, and we need to invest as a nation in housing, uh, invest public resources uh, in housing as, as it were, infrastructure um, to enable people to live well and affordably. Um, and until such time as the government moves to that position, I think the, the private sector will struggle to deliver to everyone's satisfaction. Okay, Benjamin Derbyshire of the RIBA, thank you very much.